Are you tired of feeling like your curls are stuck in a growth rut? Do you dream of a long, luscious curls, but you've never been able to grow it past a certain point? Well, I have some news for you. It is definitely time that we chat about this, and it's definitely time that you ditch the trims. I know, I know, we have all been told by hair stylists that regular trims are the secret to healthy hair and the secret to hair growth, but I honestly don't agree with that, basically at all. I think that trims have a time and place, but I think that there are things that help hair growth way better than trims ever could. I too used to listen to hairstylists all the time and get trims regularly and my hair would never grow. Any growth that it made, I would then just go get it trimmed off and then I just put myself in this circle of having the same hair length for a very long time. My stylist would always recommend me getting trims like every 10 to 20 weeks, which is way too much. First of all, money. Second of all, time at the salon. Third of all, your hair doesn't even have a chance to grow. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Barbara Delmonica, and obviously on this video, we're going to be talking a lot about hair growth and trims. Now, the reason why stylists tell you to get trims is because, first of all, it does help prevent split ends. Regular trims will remove damaged hair, which helps not damage them further. It also just prevents breakage, so that will improve the overall health of your hair. And of course, when your hair is healthier, it's going to grow more. So that's one reason why they tell you to do it. Now, another reason why hairstylists will tell you to get trims is because it definitely does enhance the appearance. Getting regular trims can like make your hair look thicker, especially if you have more fine hair. It can help your hair get shinier, more vibrant. Like when your hair is healthier, it looks better and trims do make your hair healthier. You can kind of think about it like this. Trims are sort of like, I think it's called like pruning a plant where you like trim the dead leaves off of a, of a plant. While they don't directly help the plant to grow taller, it definitely it definitely helps remove the dead or diseased parts so it doesn't affect the other areas of your hair. Allowing the plant to focus its energy on healthy growing and not on the leaves that are dead anyway. So that's the reason why stylists tell you to get trims. I don't think that they're trying to bring you back to trim your hair every eight weeks. I really don't believe that. I think that there is a good heart behind it. But I think specifically with curls and very specifically healthy curls, you don't need to get trims every so often. Now, in the beginning of your hair journey, you might want to get trims more than somebody like me who's been doing this for a long time. But even still, I don't always see the reason why. Again, stylists will tell their clients this because like 98% of people don't take good care of their hair. 98% of people, the stylist will say like, use this shampoo and conditioner. They don't buy it. They use a crappy drugstore shampoo and conditioner and they have no idea what they're doing. So their hair is super unhealthy. So yes, those types of people, probably should be getting trims every eight to 10 weeks because they're taking horrible care of their hair. But because you're watching this video, I know that you at least take somewhat better care of your hair than the average person. So you're taking the time out of your day. So probably you're gonna be like me and maybe not need as many trims. So while trims can remove split ends, they don't actually stimulate hair growth. In fact, if you're trimming it too often, you're definitely going to hinder your hair's growth potential. Now, the following of what I'm about to say is not necessarily factual information, it's truly my opinion on the matter. And really this whole video is my opinion on the matter. And my opinion is that unless your hair is unhealthy, you don't need to be getting trimmed so often. So what can you do to make your curls grow like crazy? Here's a few tips. Definitely number one, nourish your scalp. A healthy scalp is essential for hair growth. Use a gentle nourishing shampoo. Don't let any of your other conditioners or styling products touch your scalp. That leads to bacteria growth and that's how you get dandruff and other types of scalp issues. Number two, you're definitely going to want to focus on protecting your hair. Heat styling and just like other environmental factors can certainly damage your hair. So make sure that you're using heat protectants. Uh, if you go outside in the sun, you can use UV protectants as well as just put on a hat. Another thing that you can definitely do to to help your hair grow longer that's definitely better than trims is to avoid tight hairstyles. Tight hairstyles can definitely pull your hair back too tight over time leading to breakage. If you're just doing like a slick back once a week, you're gonna be fine. But if you're someone who does them most days, every other day, that type of thing, you're definitely going to notice breakage and thinning of your hair. Another great tip for hair growth is actually just eating well, eating a healthy, balanced diet. 
Sounds cliche, but it is so true. Healthy diet rich in nutrients and vitamins and minerals is essential for hair growth. So make sure you're getting enough protein, vitamins, minerals, all the things. Another thing that can definitely help with growth is using microfiber towels instead of terry cloth towels when you dry your hair. This is something that at first I thought was like the biggest load of BS. Like I could not believe that it actually made a difference, but trust me, it makes a really big difference. So instead of you like, and, and not even instead of, do not use a terry cloth towel on your hair. Just don't do it. Use either an old cotton t-shirt or a microfiber towel to gently dry your hair. And that's kind of like my last tip, which is to sleep on a satin pillowcase or use a satin or silk bonnet. They're definitely going to help reduce frizz and they're just less tension and friction to these types of materials. So that's going to prevent breakage. Again, I used to hear all the time to use like satin and silk pillowcases and I was like, please, what's that really going to do? But trust me, it makes a load of difference. Now let's talk about a product that can really help you on your hair growth journey. The Dr. Groot scalp revitalizing solution. This product is inside of my October 2024 Curls Monthly Mailer. It's such a fun product. This whole Dr. Groot uh, brand is such a great brand. I'm really honestly so excited that you're going to get to try this. Dr. Groot is the number one hair care brand in Korea and the whole thing, you know, everyone loves Korean skincare. Korean hair care is also so good. So I'm really excited for you guys to try this. So this treatment is meant to be used after shampoo to help soothe the scalp after you use a shampoo which strips the scalp. It's formulated to help promote longer, stronger hair. It improves your scalp environment. So like I said, a healthy scalp leads to hair growth. And it leaves your hair feeling and looking healthier in literally five seconds. Like actually that is what they say on the bottle, five seconds. So it has this little tip at the top so you can easily put it on your scalp. So after you shampoo, you're going to grab this and then you can just kind of apply it in lines down your hair so it directly will touch your scalp. Then you'll kind of just gently massage that in and it feels so nice and soothing. And then rinse with water, follow up with the conditioner, style as normal. You can actually use this two to three times a week. You can use this really anytime you shampoo. And specifically, it's really great to use it with the Dr. Groot shampoo. So if you have Curls Monthly, you'll get this little gift box that includes both of them. It's so cute. I am obsessed with that shampoo. If you want to watch a video about that shampoo, I will make sure to link it below, but it is just, 10 out of 10, it really does add so much volume to your hair. So this type of scalp revitalizing solution is going to be best for people with low density hair and oily hair. I'm really excited for you to try this because we've never had anything in Curls Monthly like it before. And I love it. I've been using it myself for a long time. So it really is supposed to give you visibly thicker, fuller, hair. It's also really supposed to soothe your scalp and help with growth long-term. Let me know below how you like this product because I know it's a little bit unique and we've never really had anything like it. And I'll see you next time.